What's up everybody? Welcome to another travel inspired video. Today I wanted to talk about my experience in Ketchikan, Alaska. I had the opportunity in 2022 to go there for some work and just experience the land itself. And so today I wanted to really go on to a deep dive on the land, its history, and just a little bit of fun facts about it because it really was a treat being there. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get started. So if you guys don't know where Ketchikan is, Ketchikan is in Alaska. It is a small coastal city located in Southeast Alaska, and it's known to some as the salmon capital of the world due to its abundant fishing opportunities. With a population of around 8,000 people, Ketchikan is the fifth largest city in Alaska. Yes, fifth largest city in Alaska, and it is situated on the western coast of the Rivagio Island. Please forgive me, uh, I did not learn how to pronounce some of these. The history of Ketchikan is deeply rooted in fishing, logging, and mining industries. The Tlingit people were the first inhabitants of the region, and their culture and traditions are still celebrated in the area today. In the late 1800s, the discovery of gold in nearby areas brought a wave of prospectors to Ketchikan, leading to the establishment of a permanent settlement. Now, I will say you will notice in certain lakes, even when you're up there, there is sometimes this goldish sort of glow and like sparkle. So there's definitely an abundance of materials up there. That's a side note. That's just from what I had experienced. Today, Ketchikan is a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors from all over the world who come to experience the area's natural beauty and unique culture. In this summary, we'll explore some of the things that make Ketchikan special, including its history, attractions, and local culture. Let's dive into the history. As mentioned, Ketchikan has a rich, diverse history that is still visible in the city's architecture, museums, and cultural celebrations. The Tlingit people were the original inhabitants of the region and their presence can be seen in totem poles and other artifacts that are scattered throughout the city. The city grew rapidly during this time with new businesses and industries popping up to support the influx of people. Logging and fishing also became major industries and Ketchikan soon became known as the salmon capital of the world. During World War II, Ketchikan played an important role in the war's effort of serving as a hub for military transportation and communication. After the war, the city continued to grow and the tourism became an important part of the local economy. Today, I will say Ketchikan is known as a vibrant and welcoming community and celebrates its history and traditions while looking forward to the future. Now let's jump into some of its attractions. Ketchikan is a home to a variety of attractions that cater to visitors of all ages and interests. Here are some of the top things to see and do in Ketchikan. Number one is Totem Heritage Center. The museum is dedicated to preserving and showcasing totem poles and other artifacts of the Tinglet people. Visitors can learn about their history, the significance of these cultural treasures, and even watch as carvers create a new totem pole. There is two that I know of that are there on the island. There is Totem Bite and then there is also Saxman Totem. Saxman Totem is closer into the city and Saxman also does have the live carvers where if I'm not mistaken, I believe that Totem Bite does not have that. Regardless, they both are really amazing to see, but I will say Totem Bite is a little further out of the city, but it was my favorite due to his views personal preference it is what it is number two is creek street creek street is in the heart of downtown it is a historical boardwalk that is home to colorful houses and shops that line the creek once it was the city's red light district with creek street now being a popular destination for tourists with plenty of restaurants galleries and shops to explore number three Tongass National Forest. Ketchikan is surrounded by Tongass National Forest and it's the largest national forest in the United States, which I will say I did not even know that being there. And now I'm reading this and I'm like, what in the world? That is amazing. Anyways, visitors can hike, fish, and camp and explore the beautiful wilderness of the areas. I will say there are animals in there. So just, you know, if you're going there on a trip, definitely, you know, come prepared with all this stuff that you may need for bears, for just a lot of stuff. Um, but it is a stunning forest and you truly can see it from every angle of the island. Number four. Misty Fjords National Monument. Now this wilderness area is located just outside of Ketchikan and is known for its stunning natural beauty. Visitors can take a boat or fly over to the monument to experience its majestic waterfalls, rugged cliffs, and abundant wildlife. I personally had taken the Allen Marine water tour, which basically takes you on a boat, takes you about two and a half hours out, 
two and a half hours back and then an hour give or take when you're there and i have got to say the misty fjords are absolutely stunning and you have to go if you're there um it's literally breathtaking and i've heard from both people who fly and then people who take the water tour that it's just one of those remarkable things to go and see um now if you do take the flight tours those are usually a lot faster um as opposed to the boat tour and especially if you're coming on a cruise line you probably prefer the flights but i will say if the weather is not looking good the clouds there they can get very low and very disorienting so i would say Make sure it's a clear day. If it's a clear day, go for it. If it's not, please take the water, see it in that way because it's, it's just so worth seeing, I've gotta say. Number five, Alaska Rainforest Sanctuary. Now, unfortunately, I have heard amazing things about this place, but while I was there, I did not get the chance to see it. It is what it is but this wildlife preserve is a home to a variety of animals including black bears bald eagles and the sitka deer visitors can take guided tours of the sanctuary and learn about the area's unique ecosystem it is definitely worth checking out i've heard a lot of good things about it i just did not have time while i was there it is what it is it saves me something to go see while i'm there now let's jump into the culture of Ketchikan. Now Ketchikan is a city that celebrates its culture and heritage and its visitors can immerse themselves in the local traditions and customs. The Tlingit people continue to play an important role in the community and their influence can be seen in everything from the totem poles to the local cuisine. Seafood is also a staple of Ketchikan's cuisine and visitors can sample fresh salmon, halibut, and other seafood dishes at local restaurants and markets. Ketchikan is also home to several events and festivals throughout the year, including the Ketchikan Salmon Derby, the Alaska Hummingbird Festival, and the Ketchikan Wearable Art Show. These events showcase the area's unique culture and provide opportunities for visitors to connect with a local community. Overall, Ketchikan is a charming and wonderful and cute and just a great welcoming city that offers a wealth of natural beauty and history and culture. Whether you're interested in outdoor adventures, cultural exploration, or simply relaxing and enjoying the scenery, Ketchikan has something to offer for everyone. If you are looking for a place to go, especially in the summertime, I completely recommend stopping in. And a lot of these cruise lines that do go through, they do take you up north where you can see more of Alaska. And then of course you go down south through Canada as well. So Ketchikan should definitely be on your bucket list of places to check out. You will definitely enjoy it. And I hope y'all enjoyed this little bit of a summary of the town that I had the absolute privilege and honor of being able to visit and live in for a few months last year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to sharing more travel videos and tips with you guys because this has been such a fun treat to go out and do.